Five years ago today, Superstorm Sandy made landfall in New Jersey and then roared through the Northeast. It proved to be a perfect storm of destruction, sparking a massive fire and floods in New York City, killing 182 people in the U.S. and Caribbean. And they're still rebuilding. CBS4's Wendy Gillette has more. Marjorie Wise is still waiting for her leaking ceiling to be repaired, five years after Superstorm Sandy flooded her Brooklyn neighborhood. The water took the cars, hit it against the trees, so here was just a mess. She's one of thousands of Sandy victims still awaiting repairs after the storm left behind more than $70 billion in damage. They've endured years of red tape, complicated applications, and cases of contractor fraud. The storm filled Wise's basement with five feet of water. She got funding for that, but not for her damaged roof and leaking ceiling, just now undergoing repairs. I had other organizations that came, but they did not really help me. FEMA and state funds enabled Joseph Lynch to repair his Brooklyn home. He was back in 18 months after Sandy. The storm flooded the house with four feet of water. It was just below the circuit breakers. It's a night he'll never forget. I think most of us, and myself included, were shocked that that water came so high. If another storm like Sandy hits, Lynch will be more protected. His house is being elevated six feet on piers as part of a program called Project Uplift. The next time a storm like Sandy hits, that home will receive the same amount of water and the same amount of damage, and we want to prevent that from happening. Lynch is out of his house about eight months while it's raised. Some in the same situation have decided that's too long to be out of their homes. Others can't get enough funding. Advocates say it's important for the nation to remember that the rebuilding from Sandy is still not over, as attention turns to more recent hurricanes, including Harvey, Irma, and Maria. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York.